good to see you. Today we are back with this adorable little bundle of stuff. Look at this. It's actually pretty heavy. It was $30. But I would say that's at least four pounds of jewelry. And it looks like there's some cool stuff in here. So I, it's all taped up. I haven't opened it up yet. You can see where they put tape all over it. Up here is the, uh, the ziplock, the zipper seal. So I'm going to take my scissors and remove the tape from the zipper seal. And then we will start to delve into this new bag of jewelry. So let me go ahead and get it open and then we will start. All right, that one was super easy to open. Sometimes they'll have tons of tape wrapped multiple ways around it. It just had one piece and I was able to cut it and pull it across and it came right off. I've been looking at this one, this piece right here. Look at this. Oh, the, oh gosh, look at this huge. Lord, look at that huge pendant. It has some wooden beads around it. Now this looks like something you would have worn on a cruise ship back in the 80s. Look at it. Well, it's wrapped up in everything. Oh, it has one of these older clasps on it. One of these little things here. You pinch this side and then it comes out like that and then you take it out. You don't see those much anymore. This may actually be like a vintage necklace. This is ceramic or porcelain or something. That's really cool though. Look at you see you have these faux pearls. They're very lightweight. Just some little plastic pearls. And then this piece here, this is plastic, but it has sort of an iridescence to it that's really cool. And you have these little golden beads around it. That's a cool little necklace. It's not really my style, but yeah, it's, it's nice. It's pretty long. You can see how long it is there. And it has these beads around the pendant and these great big plastic iridescent beads here. That is something. <laughs> now wrapped up in that, we have some more little faux pearls. That's a nice little strand of pearls. It's not stretchy. It has a little round clasp right here. And it's just a cute little, simple little string of little faux pearls. It's lightweight. They're not, you know, some of, you know, some of them are kind of heavy. These are very light. That's a, that's a good, um, if you're looking for just basic pieces of jewelry to coordinate multiple outfits, a little necklace like this really comes in handy because little necklaces like this you can wear with really anything and they look good. Um, so if you have an outfit and you want to wear a necklace and you don't really know what to wear, sometimes something like this can be a good choice. I have, um, I have several little faux pearl necklaces like this and in different sizes, like some of them have the smaller pearls like this one and then some of them are larger. Let's see, now we're still looking for two earrings. Or is it, it may be three earrings now, I don't remember. Oh, look at this pendant. Oh, I have a pair of earrings similar to this. It's not identical, but this is a cool necklace. Oh, I like that. You have these plastic little cords here, three of them, and little plastic uh, silver beads. That is awesome. That is a cute necklace. It's not terribly long. And it has a small silver lobster claw clasp and about two, a little over two inches of adjustable chain. That's beautiful. This is metal. That's really pretty. That's very pretty. I like it. Okay. I want to see.
see this wooden one, but it looks like it's it's really long. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Lord, it goes way back in there. Oh, isn't this cool? Here's one with an M pendant. It's an M, and it has uh, rhinestones on it. I haven't seen one with an M on it. That's cool. It's on a little silver chain with a little bitty, tiny silver lobster claw clasp and about two and a half inches of adjustable chain. Ooh, I like it. Yeah, that's cool. A little M. Or you could turn it upside down and it makes a cool W. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. I don't think I'll keep it though. I, I have a lot of little necklaces like this and I don't know that I would ever wear it. I'll let somebody else find it when I donate it to be resold. And that's what I do with most of the stuff. Anything I don't keep, which is most of it, I just donate right back to be resold. Look at this gold necklace. My goodness. Good golly. What is this? Oh, it's wrapped up in another one. Now this has, I forget what it's called, a bar clasp or a toggle. I, it's this thing here. It's a stick and a loop. I can't think of what they're called. I don't care. It's, um, it's some of that fake gold that's really yellow. It's like you took some real gold and colored it with a highlighter. It's just a, a chain. There's a little tab on it. What does it say? Oh, it's from Ann Klein. There's a little Ann Klein near the line. The little line on the tab there. That's pretty cool. Somebody probably paid a decent amount for that. That's not really my style either. It's, it's pretty though. It has a little S shape to the little links there. That's cool. It's in good shape too. Now I was trying to get this one out. Oh, I got it. It's out. Now this thing here, oh, it's made of wooden beads and seeds. Some of these little things are seeds. Very hippified. It's cool. It's long. You can wear this doubled over two or three times if you wanted to. It's pretty. I like the colors. You have this dark red and then some brown in there. That's pretty neat. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Now, it's just spilling out of the bag. Look at it. It couldn't wait to come out. Oh gosh, we have a bunch of seed beads here. Multiple strands and a cute little necklace. Now, some of these strands are longer than others. Let me see if I can straighten it out. See, look, all these pretty little strands. And then some of them are really short. And then they just get longer down here. That's a nice little necklace. So it's not going to be terribly long on you medium sized lobster claw clasp and about three inches of adjustable chain there. I don't know who made it. It's a little twisted up. But see you can just take it and kinda and yeah they get they get all tangled but you can oops you can untangle these pretty easily usually cute little necklace. I have several necklaces similar to this. I have one that has a bunch of strands and the seed beads are white, brown, and green and it's a really cool or no, it's more of a teal. It's like white, brown, and teal. Really pretty necklace. I found it at Goodwill. Here's a little serpentine chain. Boy, these were popular back in the day. What does it say here? I'll be. That's a real gold chain. It is. And it has a little pendant, a little four leaf clover. That's cute. That's an actual. That's real gold. There's a little thing right here. 
is 14 karat gold. It's right on the thing. Huh. Well, I'll hang on to that. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm not going to wear it. I'm just, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'll, I'll keep that one. Ooh, here's a groovy one. That's heavy. Ooh, look at that. It has these metal pieces here, and these little things, they look, things look like little metal teeth. And then these beads are made of wood, dark wood right here. This is a nice heavy necklace. It has a small to medium sized lobster claw clasp. And about two inches of adjustable chain. Hmm. I might hang on to that and see if my older son wants it. I don't know if he would wear it or not, but I'll ask him about it. We have some more gold serpentine chains. One of them I'm pretty sure is not real. Oh, these are together, so I guess they're both fake. This is a three-stranded necklace that's tangled up on itself. There we go. Ooh. Okay, it's not real, but it's pretty though. Look, you have these three different uh, chains. Two of them are kind of like a serpentine chain, and then you have one that's lynx. And it has a round clasp and no adjustable chain. Oh, I would have loved something like this back in the 80s. It was popular to wear just little, small gold chains like this. Just wear two or three of them at a time. Oh, I would have loved that. Not so much today. Oh, look, here's a, a cool little silver necklace. Now, this is an interesting kind of a round chain, like it's tubular or cylindrical or whatever. And it has this cool little starfish pendant. He looks like he's waving at you. It's like Patrick. Hey. And the underside is kind of hollow. And it has a medium sized silver lobster claw clasp. And about close to two inches of adjustable chain. That's a cute necklace. So you can see here where it's attached. The pendant is attached. That's cute. See, this is why I don't mind paying $30 for one of these bags, because we haven't even really scratched the surface of everything in this bag yet. <laughs> There's a lot more in here. There's a ton of stuff in here. Oh, I do like this. I like this combination. I love these darker, they're kind of a lavender color with these blue. I love the combination of these colors of the lavender and the blue. Now these are all plastic beads, so it's not terribly heavy. This looks like something somebody made. And here's the little bar clasp or the toggle clasp or whatever. There's no adjustable chain with these. Oh, it's very pretty though. Isn't that cool? I like it. That's really pretty. Um, ooh, this one's interesting. Good gosh. This is a weird, a weird little necklace. It says something on it. What does it say? Um, oh shoot. I can't read it and I don't have my magnifying glass handy. I think it says Claire's, but it's kind of hard to say. Look at this cool, these cool links. They're metal, you can hear, you can hear that. <laughs> this is a very interesting little necklace. Now, if you had a tiny neck, you could double that up as a choker, but I don't believe I could wear that as a choker. <laughs> That's cool. And it just, it doesn't have any adjustable chain. It just has this little snap, this little clasp here. And you just push it closed like that. That's pretty. That's very 
pretty unique. These, these links are just very interesting. Hmm. And we have our obligatory seashell necklace. We always have to have some of these. Ooh, everything's wrapped up in here. We got snarls. Ooh, this is an interesting pendant. Look at that. That's cool. That's made out of mother of pearl. Ooh, that is neat. There's an adjustable chain wrapped around it from somewhere. I don't know what to get out first. Here we have a short little cute necklace. What is this called? Is it hematite? I can never, I always have a mental block against these little, I think it's hematite. I don't know, but it's a cute little short necklace and it has a little bead here. It's kind of a ruby color, but I think it's plastic. And then a little bit that comes down like this, so it's kind of like one of those Y necklaces. And it has an adorable, tiny, little, gold lobster claw clasp. This is one of the ones that makes me think of handcuffs. Look at them. It's, it, it, it really is like a little lobster claw, but it's kind of, it, make, it makes me think of handcuffs. Just the way it operates. And now I can't redo it. That is a very unique little necklace. I think I'm going to keep this. I just seriously pared down my choker collection. I did. I took a box and I, a little box. A subscriber asked for some of the chokers from some of these bags. And while I was at it, I just went through my choker collection and took out a bunch of ones that I haven't worn in a while. And I sent her a whole box of little chokers. <laughs> So if you, you know who you are, they're on their way to you. But she's in Canada, so it's going to take a little bit to get there. But I, they're, they're on the way. But I have a lot of room in my little the box that I keep my chokers in. This is cute. You know what? I'm going to wear this today. I think I'll wear that one today. Okay. And we have a lot going on here. Here we go. This little gold necklace wrapped around it. See? Now these are all seashells. And these are just little fragments of seashells. But they're made to look like shark's teeth or something. They look like little teeth. And they're wrapped in there with little segments of shells. And it has the little twisty barrel clasp. Most of these necklaces have this kind of clasp on them. That's cute though. The one thing I don't like about necklaces like this, though, is it seems like there's always at least one of these little things stabbing you in the chest. <laughs> like it pokes, you know, it's always poking you. So, yeah, it's, um, it's kind of annoying. Okay. Here we have a small little gold Y necklace here. Oh, this is cool. It has a small, really small lobster claw clasp. It's tiny. And there is no designated adjustable chain. Well, no, I guess there is. All of this. So you have at least three inches of adjustable chain. Some little pearls here and there. And then it comes down to a little golden X right here. And a pendant at the bottom that's round like a little donut. And it has rhinestones all around it. Oh, it's on both sides. It is. It has rhinestones on either side. That's cute. A little cute necklace there. Now this one came out. Oh, this one looks difficult. Why are you being difficult? Ew. Okay. It's cool. Check it out. Look at all these little pieces that hang down from it. Now these, some of them have rhinestones on them, and some of them don't. It's just little pieces, 
little pendants on the necklace. The necklace itself is kind of a gunmetal color, like a dark gray. I don't know who made it. There's no name on it. It has a small little lobster claw clasp and about three inches of adjustable chain. Oops. It's pretty. That is cute. That would look cute with a little halter top or something. It's very sparkly with all the rhinestones on it. Alright, let's get... Oh, this is separate. Here's a weird one. Now these beads are plastic. Oh, this looks vintage. This looks like something from the 80s to me. Doesn't it? Look here. Now you see it's not terribly long. And you have these separate little segments on the necklace. They have these little cylindrical ones. These are all kind of an ivory color. And then you have these little gold pieces. And little tiny gold beads between these beads. And just one of these little flip clasps. Yeah, I think this is actual vintage stuff from the 80s or maybe early 90s. I don't know. I don't know who made it, but yeah. Now these pieces are metal, the gold ones, and these ivory colored ones are plastic. It's not terribly heavy, but you can kind of feel the weight of these things. It's cute though. It's very nice. I want to see this pen. Or whatever things wrapped around the pen. Isn't this pretty? My grandmother would have loved this. Oh, she would have loved it. Look. Oh, darn it. There's a chain. Stuck in there. Look at this. Pretty vintage pen. Now it has little pearls and a big one in the middle. Little pearls on the petals. And then the stem down here and some leaves. Oh my goodness. That makes me think of my grandmother. Oh, she would have worn that on her little dress jacket for church. She would have loved that. Oh, makes me think of my grandma. But it has the little clasp for the pin on the back, like that. I don't know who made it. Wait a minute, there's a thing on it. It says BSK, copyright BSK. I don't, I don't know what BSK is, but look at it. Look how pretty that is. You know, I saw a picture on Facebook of a bouquet that a woman made out of vintage uh, little brooches like this, little pins of little flowers of different types. It was beautiful. I posted it to my Facebook page a while back. It was, she said it weighed about 10 pounds. It was gorgeous though. She had been collecting these and there was another person who made a picture and it was like a field of flowers and all the flowers were little flower pins like this. It's beautiful. Yeah, they, they could use this. <laughs> Very pretty. It's a little bit heavy too. It's made out of metal. Now here's a little gold necklace. It's not real, but it's cute. It has a little round clasp. And no adjustable chain and a cute little metal seashell pendant. Look, it's like a little seashell. That's adorable. That is so cute. There's a lot of beach, like beachy themed stuff in here. It does seem like some of these bags have a lot of like a certain type of jewelry. Now here's a little stretchy chain, and it's just made out of wooden beads. Oh, this is cute, and the blue ones are plastic. That is actually adorable. So you don't even have to mess with a clasp. And these are great if you have trouble with clasps. You could just wear something like this and just pull it on and off. You don't have to do a clasp at all. And it's very lightweight. Very pretty. I like the, the light brown wood with the little blue beads. That looks cute. Perfect for summertime. Okay. Ooh, what in the world? Look at this. Look at 
at this thing. What in the world? Is this a necklace or what? Oh, it... Lord. Okay, here we go. I was about to say, that's short. Oh, now this is cool. Look at that. It's sort of a copper color. I like it. I like it. This is, yeah, it has sort of a copper colored lobster claw clasp. And about two and a half inches, well, maybe three inches of adjustable chain that's bundled up right there. This is pretty. It has all these little pendants on it. Oh. Oh, I like it. It's just little discs in a copper color. That's cute. But I'm not going to keep it because I have too much crap. I have way too much stuff. I can't keep everything. Um, ooh, gosh. Oh, now this one is interesting. Oh, look at this. So you have this little chain here. And a small lobster claw clasp. Not really any adjustable chain. But check out the pendant. This is uh, enamel painted on metal, and it's like the, the moon right here. And then hanging down, you have planets and stars and another moon. Oh, this is cute. I love that. That is awesome. It's really, it has a long chain, too. Isn't that cool? Look at that. I don't know who made it. There's no name on it, but that is really neat. And you have these little different colored little glass beads and a little plastic pearl. I like the little like Saturn or whatever it is right there. It has rings around it. And stars. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> that is really cool. Okay. Here is... Nope, it's one strand. I thought it was two. Now this looks uh, kind of vintage, just I guess because I don't really see necklaces like this a whole lot. It has little plastic beads. These are all plastic, even the ones that look like metal. Those are plastic. Now this one has a medium-sized silver lobster claw clasp and no adjustable chain. This is kind of a serpentine chain. It's kind of thin. Yeah, it's pretty though. You could you could uh, double that over and wear it as a choker too if you wanted to, like this. Well, I like the green beads; those are pretty. Very cool. I see rhinestones and another pin. Oh, look! It's a little uh, bracelet with a lobster claw clasp. Oh, it's not, it's not terribly big. I could wear that. And it has pink and white, or pink and clear little rhinestones. It's not real gold, and you can tell a lot of the fake gold has kind of been rubbed away. It's not as shiny as it probably was originally. Especially around the clasp, you can see that it's been rubbed away. That's, it's cool, though. Kind of makes me think of a centipede or something. <laughs> or a roller coaster car thing. <laughs> like this. Ooh, a cameo. Look at that. Oh, it's nice. It's, and you could wear it as a pendant too. There's a little thing back here where you can wear it as a pendant if you want. And it has a little thing on it to wear as a brooch. Why will it not go in there? It doesn't Something's wonky with it. Nope, there we go. I got it. So it's it's plastic. Oh, my mom used to love cameos back in the, I guess it was in the late 80s. They were super popular and everybody, they had, you could get cameos on everything. My mom had a cameo pin similar to this and she wore it practically every day to work. Um, it was a little bit smaller than this, but it's kind of off center. You can see it's not quite doesn't quite fit in there. 
That's pretty though. This part is metal, this part is plastic. But yeah, you can wear it as a pendant too. <laughs> I want to see this pendant. Can I get it out? I can. Oh. Well darn it. If you have a tangle, first thing you do is undo the clasps. It helps. This is a cool necklace. Now this is like a cameo too. Made of mother of pearl. I think that is mother of pearl. I don't think that's plastic. Huh. This is really righteous. I like it. It has this thick silver chain and a gorgeous pendant. That is really cool. I'm tempted to keep it. It has a nice silver lobster claw clasp. This, this chain is really thick. No adjustable chain. That is absolutely beautiful. I'm very tempted to keep it, but honestly, I don't know. Would I wear that? Would I wear it? I'm going to say no. I'm going to let somebody else enjoy it. It's beautiful, though. another one. Oh, this pendant is pretty. Look at this pretty pendant. So it has a separate piece kind of floating in the middle, teardrop shape. A really pretty bluish green rhinestone in the middle. It's like an antique or a burnished gold chain. And a small round clasp. Oh, it's a chain extender. Here's the lobster claw clasp with a bit of a chain extender to make it a bit longer. That adds another three inches or so to it. That's pretty. There's the back. That's a cute little necklace. I like it. And here we have a doohickey. What does this say? Root? Mm. Rex Philip V D C. I'm a moron. I don't know what this is. It's a doohickey. It has O U R O U B. I I don't know. It's it's old timey writing or something. I don't know what it says. I don't believe this is an actual coin of any sort. I think this is just made to look that way. On a big little thing here, a big piece to attach it to the necklace. Now the necklace itself is kind of a gold color. I don't think this is the original necklace. The pendant is gold or silver colored and it has a teeny tiny lobster claw clasp. Look at that little thing. And a bunch of adjustable chain, about three inches of it. Three inches or so of adjustable chain. That is a teeny tiny lobster claw clasp. I don't know, I guess it looks like a goldish color somewhat. I don't know. This thing's irritating me. Oh, here's another one of these things made with apple seeds and other types of seeds. I have a long uh, necklace with that's made with little green plastic beads and apple seeds. And I wear it doubled over two or three times and it's really cool. Oh, I, oh Lord, look. Hang on a minute. Let me, let me look at this first. I see two cool things. These, these are cool. These are purple and sort of a cream color. Lord, it's long. neato. I kind of like that better than the green one I have. <laughs> yeah, there's no clasp. It's just a long string of seeds and stuff. It's cool. No, I want to see that bracelet right here. Lord, no. That's like a napkin ring or something. It's not a bracelet. 
it's either a napkin ring or it's like a ring for Shrek or Fiona or somebody. It's great big. I think that's supposed to be a napkin ring. It's fabulous though. Look how sparkly it is. It has little rhinestones all the way around it. I was hoping it was a stretchy bracelet, but it's not. That's just neato. Okay. Here's a watch. It's dead. It's from, it says Ash, Ashley, I think. It probably just needs a battery or something. Looks like somebody did wear it a bit. It's got a nice band on it. It's a cute little watch. Uh, I don't ever wear watches anymore. I have a couple, but the batteries are probably dead in them by now. I, I never wear them. Now these look like seashell beads, but they're actually plastic. These are little plastic discs. And it has a little barrel clasp. Hmm. It's not as harsh, or it's not as scratchy as the seashell beads because I guess they're rounded. Yeah. That's, that's alright. I like this better. It's lighter and it's not as scratchy. And here we have another wooden beaded necklace. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, these are all wooden beads. Check them out. Oh, it's inlaid wood. Look at that. That's nifty. <laughs> Oops. It has a little bitty round clasp and no adjustable chain and little wooden discs. Oh, that nabbit. That's very pretty. I like all the different shades of brown. That's really pretty. Here we have a, a somebody's name on this. This is this is like just a piece of thread, like a gold metallic thread with a little bitty skinny barrel clasp, and it has a name on it. Diane it has the name Diane on it. See what well, does they keep turning with little black and gold beads in between the letters. This is just a piece of cord. It's not like a metal chain or anything. Here's one of those little floating necklaces. You know, it has this, this is wire, like piano wire. And it has these pretty tiger's eye looking beads on here in sort of a white color and gray. These are pretty. So delicate. And it has a medium-sized silver lobster claw clasp and about an inch and a half of adjustable chain. That's very, very elegant. Very simple and very elegant. I don't normally like these, but I like this one. And we have a little watch. Oh, this is cute. I could wear this. It's an itty-bitty one, see? I've always had small wrists, and I, I could wear that. Oh, I could. Who made this? It's not working. Gosh, that print's tiny. Oh, that's gonna bug me. Hang on, let me see if I can see who made this. Well, I was able to read it. I found my, um, my magnifying glass. It's a Gianni Giorgio little quartz watch. I looked them up on eBay. They don't go for much, and it doesn't work, so it would need a battery, or, you know, maybe, maybe not even that. It could be that it just doesn't work anymore. I don't know, but, yeah, it's really cute. Well, this thing doesn't want to stay clasped, closed. There we go. Yeah, it's cute, though. I like it. It's really pretty, a little silver watch. Very cute. But it's not working right now. Okay, we're gonna look at one more thing. What do we, there's a football. Should we, let's take out the football. Oh, there's another pen, hang on. Oh, look at this pen and an earring. I got an earring with it. <laughs> look 
at this pretty pen. Oh my gosh. That is such a pretty bright yellow. Oh, I love that. A little metal a yellow flower. How pretty. These are cool. So we have this plastic. Oh, sorry. A little hummingbird pen came out with it. Oh, look at these pens. I love it. It has little green rhinestones on it and little clear ones up here. Oh, I am loving these pens. <laughs> this is cute. Oh, gosh. Neato. So this is like a Mardi Gras necklace with a football on it. An American football. See the laces? There's a little hole down here, too. A little hollow plastic piece. And then these beads kind of look like little footballs, too. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alright. So that is everything for today. I really like this pretty bright yellow pen. That is just so cheerful. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. And the hummingbird pen too. That's nice. But there's a lot more. Look, we're going to look at this next time. It's a whole bag full of something. We'll look at that next time. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed looking at these items with me. And I will see you again really soon.